Good morning, folks. Switcher here. What do we have, Switcher? This is an inbox review of the uh, 135 scale. Uh, it's 39 to 45 series. It's the King Tiger with a Henschel turret, wood zimmerit. Uh, it's a dragon kit. Uh, kit number uh, 6303. Um, it's, uh, it's a gift from my friend Paul. And um, without further ado, let's look at uh, what's uh, on the box, okay? The, so we've got some parts here, and uh, there we have it. We'll lift the light up a little bit. <laughs> so we got our deck call. We got the various uh, units where this uh, vehicle was employed. Uh, it comes with photo etch, and it comes with uh, brass bullets, okay? And they show here a highlight of... Uh, uh, yeah, it, uh, it looks the part on the bottom end, okay, so a uh, nice touch, okay, a dragon. And uh, what else? Uh, here we have uh, the various uh, uh, side box art indicator showing the Zimmer there on the turret, on the, uh, the, uh, uh, the vehicle itself, okay, uh, where the grills go with the, the uh, commander's hatch and so on. And of course, uh, so that is that for the box art. The side art is uh, nothing really. And uh, then uh, we look at uh, <clears throat> what's in this box. Okay, it is full of goodies. Uh, uh, the rear turret hatch here can be uh, uh, modeled, okay, open or shut, okay, depending on uh, what we see inside and so on and uh, whatever, uh, whether we're going to do it open or shut. Okay, I like to have it open. And uh, the closed defense uh, weapon, okay, can on the side, okay, can be uh, modeled open or shut. Uh, the pills on the turret roof, I'm not quite sure what that is, okay. Uh, clear periscope parts for driver and radio operators hatch, okay. Uh, bonus aluminum gum barrel, well, that's nice, okay. We get. Uh, uh, we got the, the aluminum barrel, but we got a slide uh, molded uh, muzzle brake. That's interesting. Upgraded uh, frontal MG uh, can rotate, and I do have uh, some um, uh, after uh, market uh, machine guns, okay, for the Germans. Uh, so I'll be using uh, those on this kit. Uh, bonus U shaped metal toe, toe hooks, okay. Uh, that's interesting. And uh, here we have the Pioneer Tools, okay, comes with or without clamps, okay, so it depends on which way we want to go. Uh, more than like, I don't know if I'm going to go, um, they, they look good, okay, with uh, photo etch, but I am not a, uh, a photo etch nut. It's, it's only because uh, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> okay, uh, metal toe cables with uh, slide molded uh, heads. We've got our, our road wheels here, our sprockets, and they come with uh, magic tracks. And I'm not quite sure what those are because, uh, like I said, I've only built a one dragon kit, and I bought a set of fuel tracks for that. So uh, without further ado, folks, let's open a box and see what kind of goodies lie inside for us. I already did that. It's not cooperating. <clears throat> Jesus. It's fighting me all the way. There we go. Okay. So, uh, as you know me, I always start with the instructions, and uh, there we go. They're not instructions. Okay, it's a pictogram. And um, uh, so we start off with the front of the book. Okay, and there we have it. We got our sprue layouts. And as per Dragon, anything that is in blue, okay, does not get used, so that, that's uh, that's nice. And uh, so the uh, they have the numbers on the sprues and all that, which is which is a, a nice touch. And uh, so here we have it. They're using uh, master uh, model master uh, color paints and so on and so forth. So that is good. I have uh, the German series, okay, uh, in model master. So that is nice. Uh, no history on the vehicle that I can see. 
Okay, uh, the usual uh, symbology and all that, and uh, Dragon does use a unique symbology. I remember from my national, so I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Um, the It appears that uh, at first glance, okay, I'll find out when I get into the build, okay, that uh, it's uh, far better instructions, okay, than what was provided with the Nash horn, which was absolutely atrocious, okay, and uh, so we have the assembly of the road wheels, which should always do last, um, step five, okay, and uh, hmm. Okay, so here's something here that I'm not quite sure what that is. It's got a wing nut on it and so on and so forth. I think this is photo etch. I'd have to, to look at it. MA-17 and MA-42. It's got to be photo etch. Yes, it is. Okay, so uh, they're assembling a photo etch uh, for, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, there we go. Uh, I have no idea. So they, they do a little build. Okay, let's try to get the light off of that. It's hard because uh, this is uh, glossy paper. Okay, uh, damn. Okay, there we see it. They build this, they got this box. And okay, not only to me, they got these little boxes aside. But uh, to me, instructions, okay, they turn around and show you where this little assembly later on goes. And here we're left to guess. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, very, it's hard to see, okay. Then uh, putting a rear wall, okay. Uh, this is the jack. Okay, I see it now. This is the, the jack brackets and they're there. Okay, it's, you got to get used to dragon instructions, I guess. And uh, that, so that's step seven. Okay. Uh, then we get into step eight and uh, assembling the hatches. Okay. Painting. Um, putting the tracks together. And I got a question mark. Um, another question, exclamation mark, and that stands for be careful. Okay, that's nice. And the other symbol is an hourglass, and that is please wait for a few minutes until dry. Okay, so yeah, they're glued together. <laughs> I think I'll be getting a set of Frugal tracks for this. I'm going to try out the Spade Ace tracks because uh, they're cheaper than the Frugal and they're just as good. Uh, I got that from uh, Blitzkrieg Model Works. Okay, Bob. So then uh, we're just going into a lot of photo etch, and uh, that is um, what we're seeing. Uh, these are long instructions, that's why we can't see everything, and we'll try to zoom in on this. Okay, and uh, there we have it. All kinds of little photo etch brackets being assembled here. And... Um, Some of them show what they're for, and some of them don't, and they don't. It's hard to see where these things are going. Okay, so um, yeah, as usual, um, not the best instructions. Uh, folks that like Dragon, I guess they're used to it and all that, but good stuff. But um, okay, and uh, here we go, uh, assembling the uh, the Pioneer tools and uh, putting the cables on, and uh, the various. Uh, hatches and accoutrements so not you know it's, it's the Nash horn repeated okay and uh, so we get into uh, building the, the gun and uh, it's not a lot of detail in on the inside so that will depend on what we see whether I leave the hatch the rear door open or not <coughs> and uh, then we got the final assembly over here uh, with the turbo with the spare track links, and uh, then we get the paintings and the markings, which is uh, interesting. France 1944, uh, France uh, 1944. Uh, whoops, both are France 1944 uh, or Druf 1944. 
And then what do we have? Um, Germany, 1945. Hungary, 1945. I might make another winter tank because I only have one of those in my stash. Um, so I'll do some research on uh, Hungary in 1945, okay, you know, what their color scheme was in 1945, okay, and uh, do the, because I want to I want to do another winter camel, uh, now that I got uh, a few miles under my belt, okay, uh, with hairspray technique and chipping and so on and so forth, I'd like to, uh, to do uh, another one of these in, in winter. Uh, here we got a, a beautiful uh, tiger striping, okay, uh, uh, that, that is funky as well. Okay, Germany, 1945. I, I like that. And uh, to me, it's uh, that is a nice camouflage because camouflage is exactly that, breaking up your silhouette. Uh, although uh, these ones are uh, are are pretty nice as well. Uh, this one here is really really interesting. Okay, down at the bottom, tiger stripes. And uh, I was going to do that for my project tiger, so. Uh, uh, there'll be a lot of decisions being made on this vehicle on which way I want to go. Okay, I absolutely love that. And uh, but it's uh, what is this? This is a king tiger, I guess. Yeah, it's a king tiger. So I guess I could put tiger stripes on that. <laughs> uh, the project tiger was uh, the intention of that was to build it uh, exactly like that, and uh, it was. Um, uh, to uh, to mimic a tiger, a real tiger skin, okay, and uh, I might, I just might do that. <laughs> so uh, nonetheless, okay. So uh, we're into uh, twelve minutes here. So uh, we just went through the instructions, and it's uh, pretty normal, okay. It takes me about uh, twenty five minutes or so to do an inbox review, and uh, without further ado, we're going to stop here, and uh, we'll get into uh, the goodies. So uh, I'll be back. <laughs> 